Hello and welcome to another episode of Late Night Football. The women's Euro quarterfinals are done. We have our semi-finalist. It's England playing Sweden on Tuesday and France playing Germany on Wednesday. Um, if I've not got that wrong, yes, that's exactly. It. And then the and they play the finals on the Sunday. That's the thirty first of July. Uh, next weekend, um, but an exciting game. the The game just finished the uh, the last quarterfinal between France and Netherlands. It was it was it was it was a game of missed chances. I would say France had so many chances that they 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 could have scored a couple. They had twenty seven shots on target as compared to Netherlands, who had four. Uh, Netherlands were struggling throughout the game, and it was basically France's time to just finish the game, and and they could only do that in the extra time, um, in or oh, and through a penalty in 102nd minute, the penalty uh, scored by Eve Pinset. Um, yeah, but then just a quick roundup of of the of the of the quarterfinals, um, England uh, England played Spain and with. Uh, what did the uh, match reaction to that? Uh, but Germany won against Austria. Uh, Germany was pretty dominant in that game as well. Austria was just clinging on. They were trying and hoping that they could win. Or, of course, they were the underdogs in that tournament, in the tournament as well. And but against Germany, um, it was just harder. Um, Sweden versus Belgium. Uh, again, this was this was one of those tight games where. Um, it, it took a last minute goal, uh, the 92nd minute in the three minute extra time that they had at the end of the game. Um, yeah, Linda Sembrand scoring the header, um, scoring the goal basically, um, uh, for Sweden to make them to, yeah, uh, so, uh, to push them through to the uh, semi-finals now. Uh, it's getting exciting. The games are now kind of these are the title contenders or who and uh, the, the top four in in that sense. There have been I think there have been some surprises, but they're not not big. Um, and and yeah, th- this will be very interesting to see who who goes through. Um, of course, England is playing um, Sweden, and Eng- it's 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 England are the host countries, and this again goes back to. Um, the England's um, record of not doing well in um, World Cups or, or, or championships um, in, in, in at the global stage, um, and then they've uh, they don't really do well uh, uh, in the, in such tournaments of, of of the World Cup or Euros and so on and so forth. But this is at the home turf. It's a little bit interesting to see how this how this match will kind of go. Sweden have been strong, but then. It's a long tournament. There'll be a lot of tired legs um, in, 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 in all sides. Um, uh, but then, well, it's just one game away from the Euro 2022 finals um, that will be played. Um, this game will be um, uh, will be played at Bramall Lane. Uh, this, yeah, it's, 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 it's a Sheffield uh, stadium, basically. Uh, which will be pretty interesting to see. Um, all of the Premier League uh, pitches have been uh, used pretty well for for the tournament, um, and the Germany, um, Germany, the Germany France game will be played in Milton Keynes Stadium. So pretty spread out across England. Uh, really nice tournament over the summer. Very exciting football. I'm looking forward to uh, the uh, the semi-final matches. Uh, who do you think will win? Um, uh, what's your uh, what's your uh, draw or for or, or your prediction for the finals? In my mind, it's going to be basically Sweden versus Germany in the finals. Um, yes, I, I I feel that this is how the game will end. But then, well, uh, I could be proven wrong. Uh, but then, let me know what you think about this. Uh, who who will uh, go into the finals and who will be uh, playing? Uh, in the finals and and what's your match prediction um do give us a like uh, share and subscribe to the uh video uh see you in the next one